Hi, my name's Yvette Adams, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to check out how our adverts on Facebook are performing. So first up, we log in with our chosen account. I'm going to check on a day spa client's ad performance today. From there, we scroll down to the very bottom of our home feed, and we click on advertising. Now from here, you'll straight away see the ads that are running with a tick for those that are um, completed and uh, a play for those that are active. And you can see that that's active by hovering over it. Now you can see with this ad campaign, it's got a budget of $10 a day. They've had 948,000 impressions. That means 948,000 people have technically seen their ad, eyeballed it. Now with eyeballing, as you know, when you use Facebook, basically the ads display on the right hand side. So whether if they've actually seen it, seen it, or whether it's just been in their view while they've been doing their socializing on Facebook, um, only that user could tell you. Then we've got the clicks, 2.246 people have actually clicked on their ad. This represents a click through rate, which traditionally in Facebook is lower than uh, what you might expect in other pay per click campaigns such as Google AdWords. Google AdWords, you tend to target a 1% to 2% click-through rate, sometimes higher if you've got a nice campaign going well in a, perhaps a niche market. But in Facebook, it's typically lower. Benefit of Facebook is that you're really targeting um, at a really deep level on certain demographics, as you'll see um, if you refer back to us setting up an advertising campaign in Facebook um, uh, video clip. Now you can see this person's paying an average CPC or cost per click of 72 cents and to date they've spent $177. So that's not bad for that many people seeing their ad and that many people clicking on their ad. Let's click on here and look at the ads at a deeper level. There they are all loaded up. So you can see they've got three campaigns currently running. Gift for Sunny Coast Girls, Spa Voucher Christmas Gift and Want Nails That Last. Let's review these and see which ad is performing the best. The gift for Sunny Coast Girls has had 13,000 impressions, um, has 6% um, social, which means the percentage of impressions where the viewer of the ad also saw that one or more friends liked your event page or ad. So this is where the social effect comes into advertising. People are more likely to click on an ad if they know that their friend likes that page or likes that ad. Um, how many people have clicked on it? The click-through rate, um, the average cost per click, and the money spent, $1.13. So this ad's not performing that great, but it's not costing us a lot either. Next one down, Spa Voucher Christmas Gift. They've um, been bidding at $1.07. They've had 451,000 impressions, which is a lot more than the one above. They've had 89 clicks, click-through rate of 0.02, which is higher than this one, 85 cents cost per click. They've so far spent $75 on that one. Now we can see this third one down here is actually performing the best of all at the moment. For 80 cents a click, they have had 476,000 impressions, 155 clicks, which is the best click-through rate, and that's a really key figure. Um, they're not paying as much as they are per click on here, and they've actually spent $100. So to compare what people are looking at, we can actually click on that at a deeper level. There's the very ad there, um, an image it's talking about their new shellac range. We can see um, when, on what days, um, how many people were clicking on them, etc. So we can see weekly stats over a period. We can compare this week to last week and so on. So we can see last week um, was pretty good. We got quite a few clicks. And let's go to the week before. There we go. We're spending about $100 a week on there. Um, and we started it just back here. So really is going quite well for a campaign that's only about two weeks old. So you know from here, you could create a similar ad because this one is working really well, or you could edit it if you didn't feel it was working well. I'm going to go back to that stage where we saw the other ad so you can compare what that one looks like to this one. So here's the ad. That was the ad there that was working the best. Here's another ad that is working pretty well but not as well. So this is a Christmas gift one. This one we've actually got it set to only run for a set period, which is leading up to Christmas. So we may be prepared to keep running that with that in mind. You can see these paused ads and at any time we can actually amend the status of this and change it to paused or deleted if we wanted to. 
We can also export a report, which will help us analyse how this whole campaign is working. There it is downloaded as a CSV. So we can see um, these are the whole, whole campaign, how they're working week to week and analyse it from there as well. We can see this graph as well, impressions or the click-through rate, where it's high and where it's lower. And if you want more help, there's also this great campaign performance glossary uh, and some more information here, which I encourage you to take a look at, helping you with some of those terms I've mentioned just now. And if you had any need to uh, look further into reports, you can also go into this great tab. We can run a campaign on report type, responder demographics, responder profiles. Responder demographics would be a good one to look at because we could actually uh, look at who's clicking on the ad and maybe even customise it a little bit more. So let's look at the past two months. So mainly Australians, which is what we wanted, females, um, 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. So we can see that not so many 55 to 64-year-olds are clicking on the ad, um, which is interesting. So maybe we could narrow our focus down a little somewhat. So it really is pretty extensive. Um, you can actually set up scheduled reports as well so that these will be emailed um, to you. So we could say, send me the advertising performance or the demographics, whichever one you really want. Um, you can have a filter or not. You can call it weekly Facebook stats if you wanted. And then you can put your email in to receive the stats if you wanted to. So that will now send to me on a weekly basis. That's all I'm going to show you today. But do get into your stats. Make sure you check on them regularly because the last thing you want is perhaps um, a campaign that's not working for you. Thanks.